Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro. Welcome to another tutorial video, another Shopify tutorial video. You guys are commenting out a lot about these tutorials. That's why we are only creating Shopify tutorials. We don't have enough time to create WordPress tutorials and other tutorials, but uh, definitely we'll add, try to add more creators on this YouTube channel. If you guys keep supporting us like the way you are currently doing right now. So this video is about adding slider on product page in Shopify. So as you can see on my screen, I have this slider on product page. So that's how it's going to look on the desktop version. And if we check out the mobile version, that's how it's going to look. And we are not going to use any paid app or any app. This is without app. All you have to do is just follow the complete tutorial till the end. So you can implement that on your own uh, version of Dawn theme, which is uh, currently I'm implementing on Dawn version 15. I created previous videos for the older version. I'll put the link in the description where you guys commented out a lot that it's not, it's no longer working in Dawn version 15. So I'm creating that updated version for you guys. So you guys can implement that. Uh, notice that after implementing this tutorial, you won't have zoom in feature on your featured image of the product slider. So you'll have to compromise that feature. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add this feature only on few products. So you can add a condition where if you want this on few products and all of the remaining products will going to function just the default behavior of the Dawn theme. So you can do that as well. So make sure to watch the complete video. Also, if you're noticing this percent discount badge, which is animated, you can implement that. So I have created this video for you guys. So all you have to do is just Google show discount sale badge Shopify, and you will have this video on the top of the Google. So Google this show discount sale badge Shopify, and you will have this video through which you can add this percent discount off batch and you will have the ability to enable and disable the animation. You can also customize this text. You can also change the border radius. You can also change the color and all of that without using any code. All of these features will be in your customized settings. Also, if you're watching this channel for the first time, I've created a lot of sections in order to improve the UI of the Shopify store. So as you can see here, this is the development store where I have a transparent header. And when I hover over, it's going to change the color. Again, all of these colors and uh, uh, changing of the colors is not with the code. You can do that with the customized setting. And here you can see I have this mega menu as well. So all of this tutorial is available in this YouTube channel. All you got to do is subscribe and hit the like button so we can create more valuable content for you guys. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into adding the product slider on the latest version of Dawn theme. So I'm going to go to the themes and I'm going to install the fresh Dawn theme in order to make sure that it's working fine on the latest version. So let's click on add button here to install the latest version. While this theme is being installed, guys, if you are new to Shopify and you want your store to start in just $1 a month, there's a link in the description. If you sign up through that link, you will get your store in just $1 a month. Also, I have created a complete one hour plus tutorial. If you want to make your store on your own without needing any developer, without any coding knowledge. I have created this tutorial for non techy people where you can create your own store without needing any developer. All you have to do is just watch this video, which is completely free. So make sure to check that out. Okay. So our Dawn 15.1.0 has been installed. Now I'm going to click on this publish button here and then publish here again. And we will now uh, add the codes. Okay. Now let's click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. Guys, before editing the code, make sure to have the backup or duplicate of your theme in case you're working on a live theme, because if you do anything uh, wrong in the code, it might break your theme. So that's a warning. Make sure to have a duplicate of your theme. Okay. Now let's click on edit code. Okay, so guys, we have a code editor open and this is the tutorial which we will follow. You will find the link in the description. This is not a paid tutorial. You will find all of the codes in the video description completely for free. So the first step is that we will create a snippet and we will name it feature 
dash thumbnails. So let's create this snippet. Go to code editor and here we will scroll down to snippets. Where is the snippets? So here we have templates, we have assets and here's the snippet. So let's click on this arrow and then click on add a new snippet and then paste the file name, which is featured dash thumbnails and then click on done. And now we will add the code by clicking on this copy code button here. So click on copy code, paste the code here and then click on save. Perfect. Let's go back to the tutorial and scroll down to our step two. And in step two, we will create a new asset, which we will call slick.css. So we are using a slick slider, which is uh, public repository available. So if you Google slick slider uh, GitHub, that's what we are using in order to create the slider with our product page, right? So this is the public a library available in GitHub through which we are implementing the slider. Okay, now let's click on create a new slider asset and then create slick.css asset. Okay, here we are. Now we will close the snippet folder and in assets folder, we will click on add a new asset and we will click on create a blank file and then just name it slick as per our tutorial here and then copy the code click on done and then paste all of the code which is present in the tutorial click on save let's go back to the tutorial and let's move on to the step three and here we will create another asset by the name of slick theme okay click on copy code again click on add a new asset click on create a blank file name it slick dash theme and then click on done and here we will paste the code which we copied and click on save okay now let's go back to our tutorial and move on to the step four so here's our step four where we will create an asset file called slick.js so let's create a new asset file Click on add a new asset and then click on create a blank file. And from this drop down here, we will select JS and then we will name it slick and then press done. Perfect. Now let's copy the code. Paste our code here. Click on save. Okay, now let's go back to tutorial and here we will add jquery to our theme.liquid file below the head tag so let's open up the theme.liquid file so here's our theme.liquid and here under head add a line break and then copy this code by pressing this button here and then paste the code perfect now hit on save and as per the final step, what we will do, we will go to main dash product dot liquid file and we will comment out this code and paste this code. Okay. So let's go to main dash product dot liquid file. And before adding this code, I'm going to show you guys what currently it looks like. So let's click on preview. I'm going to close this old tab here. And in preview, let's open up this product here. I drill drop because other products don't have much images. This product have many images. So I'm going to visit this product here. So that's how currently it looks like. That's how the default Dawn version 15 in Shopify looks like the product page and now what we're going to do, we will find this product here from the article product dash media dash gallery and comment that out. So I'm going to press command F and search this code. Okay, we found the code. Here's the render and I'm going to comment that out by pressing command slash. 
and add a line break and copy this code which will include the snippet which we created so click on copy code and then paste this code here and then hit save now let's open up our product page again and hit refresh and here's how you can see we have our slider slider showing up on our product page and in order to make it look much cooler what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce the featured image size to be the smaller one so it's going to fill out the whole page currently it's cutting off the main image so what we can do here is go to customize then from this drop down here click on products and then click on default products and then click on product information and from here we have desktop media width selected as large i'm going to click on small and then click on save then when i go to the product page and hit refresh that's how it looks like And now one more thing I would like to show you guys is that you might have uh, a theme or your store set up in a way that you might not need this slider on all of the product pages. So what you can do here is that you can add an if condition and display this slider only on specific products. So currently if I go on some other products, so let's suppose I'm going to open up this product here. You can see I have this product also showing up as a slider. But you can see the images are not properly aligned and it might be the case for you or you just don't want to display this product slider on all of the product page you just want it on one product or maybe on few products what you can do here is uh, you can add an if condition so i'm going to add an if condition where it will show the slider only on this product right so let's open that up and now i'm going to open the code editor and here is the code which we commented out right and here is the code which we want only on our specific product. So let's add an if condition. Curly bracket person if product dot handle equals to this. So that's my product handle and I want the slider only on this product. So I'm going to copy this product handle, paste it within inverted commas and then I'm going to copy this code here and then paste it here so it will check if the product handle is this it's going to show this code it's going to make this section included else otherwise it's going to show the default code And I'm going to end my if condition. And now let's remove these two lines of code here. And here we have our if condition added. So let me make it more cleaner. So you can see here, it's going to check that if the product handle is this, it's going to display our slider, which is pulling through a featured dash thumbnails snippet, which we created. And if it checks that it's not the same product, it's going to show the default product media gallery, which is by the default coming from the theme. Okay, now let's hit save. And now let's hit refresh here again. And here you can see we have the product slider showing up. Now, if I go to any other product, so let's open up all products collection and let's suppose go to this product here. You can see that it's displaying the product images in a default behavior the way it was before. So it's now working on a specific product.
you can add the same if condition on a collection basis. So if you want the collection to be targeted for this slider, so you want one specific collection to show the slider and remaining slider do not want to be shown the slider, you can simply add the if condition here where we will have like a uh, if collection dot let's see if it shows up here we go so we have this option showing up within the collection so we can add collection handle equals to or all products so that's the handle of my collection here so if i click on all products you can see that's the handle of my collection now if i add this condition it's going to display the slider on all of these 11 products which are under all products collection right if i would have multiple collection we can just target this specific collection to show the slider okay guys that's it for the tutorial and uh, in the last video which i created i got about 250 likes and uh, we want to make sure that we get more likes on this video as it's a newer version and it will help others to find this video easily in google search and youtube and until next video have a great day